Hello again, and welcome back. It's our Jolly Lens. And behind me is Black Friars. And in the 1960s, these buildings were all going to get demolished. But Alderman Peter Rennick, the mayor of Newcastle at the time, put a stop to that and got them renovated. So, why don't you join us? And we'll go through the arch. We'll tell you all about it. <coughs> Today, Blackfriar still continues crafts to the guild and the old refectory is now a friar's restaurant and upstairs from the restaurant is a round table with every now and then have tasting events whiskies and wines and the likes as you can see we're standing in the courtyard it's nice and tranquil now you wouldn't think we're in the middle of the city Newgate Street's just behind me, where you've got St. James's Boulevard just up that way. You just look in there, the back of the gate. So, and yeah, it's nice and peaceful. What is Blackfriars? Well, Blackfriars was founded by the followers of St. Dominic. Dominicans were friars, and friars in general had a daily day similar to that of monks, although it differed in a number of aspects. Firstly, friars believed in activity supporting the local community or the region throughout preaching and care, whereas monks shut themselves away from the world in the monasteries and focused on their own spiritual perfections through prayer and mediation. The well-educated Dominicans friars dedicated themselves mainly to improving the religious standards of the ordinary people through preaching and teaching. And like monks, friars were therefore not restricted to stay in the friary and could often be seen in the city or travelling around. Secondly, while the monasteries were allowed to have their own property, friaries were bound to poverty and had to beg or rely on charitable donations. As a result, Friaries were usually modest with little or no owned land and were situated in or near a city. But like monasteries, most friaries had gardens that usually consisted of an orchard, a kitchen garden for growing vegetables and herbs, and medicinal plants. At Blackfriars, bees were kept in hives and would have been used to pollinate the plants making sure they would grow each year as well as produce honey. After Henry VIII's dissolution of great monasteries in 1539, the church was demolished and the other buildings were used as meeting rooms by the nine craft guilds of the town. They introduced the skinners, the glovers, the cordoners, butchers and tanners, blacksmiths, fullers and tires bakers and bowers who practiced their crafts nearby the guild continued to use upper floors of the building until the 19th century. As you can see most of the church which was destroyed and wasn't found it to excavation and you can see where it was where the foundations were anyway. By the 19th century, Blackfriars had fallen into a state of disrepair. The large parts of the building were used for accommodating the poor and working class. Newcastle underwent a period of rapid growth and industrialization in the 19th century. Building upon the main industry of the surrounding area. As in many Victorian towns, the housing supply was in 
inadequate. The period is notorious for terrible housing conditions that existed for the poor. When the guild was continued to kill the use of Black Friday, it was in poor conditions and other businesses had moved in, including a public house called the Bakers and Brothers Homes. By the time the area, then known as Friars Green, had gained an unsavory reputation where crime flourished. In the 1930s, for example, the caretaker of Black Friday was murdered and his wife attacked while investigating a disturbance in Monk Street. You can see it's still nice and peaceful in here, apart from the odd birds walking away in the background. If you're in Newcastle, I recommend you pay a visit to this. So, quite nice. I think if you want in, the city would have been gods in here. It would have been cloisters in the buildings, which is like. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.